Hi, Jennifer Nicely here with Pinnacle Real Estate Academy. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the new License Law Reform Act and another aspect of that 42 pages of changes that we have seen that take place January 1st. Now, one of the things that has uh, they, they're harping on very strongly are the real estate teams that we have. So, a couple of the things that they're requiring as of January 1st. Number one, I think it's the biggest problem or the biggest change we're going to have that these teams need to make is that the team name cannot have the word realty, real estate, or realtors in the name. Now that's huge, that is very huge. If your team name has any of those three words, again, real estate, real tea, or real tours, they must remove that name prior to January 1st, 2017. Now, it's not the Real Estate Commission that require, that is requiring this to happen, and it's not the Senate that's allowing or requiring this to happen. It is the Commerce labor, commerce, and industry that is requiring this to happen. Evidently, there's been an issue with people believing or thinking that teams have these names in them that they are actually firms and not teams under a firm. So, all the teams have to remove those three words from their team name. Now, another change that they have made is anytime those teams advertise any of their properties or themselves or their team, they still have to have their real estate firm name in everything they do. That law has been the same. However, it's been a little abused. And so they are focusing right now on making sure every one of those teams puts the real estate firm name in everything they do. Another thing that they are uh, reminding us of is that when the broker in charge or the firm writes the team a check, the check has to be divided out between the team leader and the team members, meaning that broker in charge cannot write one check to the team leader and then the team leader write a check to their agents. What the law is saying now is that broker in charge will have to go ahead and cut that check the way the team wants it cut and write a check to the team leader and then write a check to the team agent. So no more divvying out for just the team leader. The firm and the BIC have to split that and that has to come out of the firm's checking account. Now. Another thing that they are reminding us of, and this has always taken place, but has been a little misunderstood over time, is that the broker in charge is responsible for every single person on that team that is licensed. So, a broker in charge is not just responsible for that team leader. They're responsible for every single person on that team. Now, out of the 42 pages, teams are mentioned around three or four times, which means that the Real Estate Commission and the Congress is really, really focusing on making sure that these teams are operating legally and how it's designed in our real estate law. So if you are a team today, I would make sure to go ahead and read those 42 pages of uh, license law that we are bound by, along with the changes that they have made in the, uh, the past law. If you have any questions, we're here at Pinnacle Real Estate Academy to help you out with any answers that we can help provide you with. Feel free to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out on our website, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video below, shoot us a message on Facebook, shoot us an email, or give us a call. We're always here to help.